Hello. Hello, Flora. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Enrique. Hey, how are you, teacher? Good. Hey. Uh, good, good. Teacher, I, I need uh, you explain the last exercise in the exercise for four point uh, teaching. Four point? Uh, Thirteen or four of, of, of fourteen. The video or the knowledge check? Knowledge check, please. And yes, this is. What's the problem? Uh, what seems I, to be the problem? Uh -huh. I, I don't remember the, the, instru uh, uh, the ex uh, examples. Uh, what uh, in construction for the sentences? Ah, okay. It says, for example, mm -hmm. rewrite the sentences. Listen. Here's the example. You only omit, she is. Look at the ah. other two. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you omit the period. Uh -huh. This one is a, Mary is the, is the beautiful girl standing by the door. Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door. Uh -huh. Only? Yes. Then here you say, Clark is the tall guy Wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Okay. Okay. You only have to meet the first, the subject mm -hmm. and the verb and the period. Okay. Okay. Lynn is the young girl in a striped t shirt and blue jeans. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank you. no problem. Same here. She's sitting. AJ is a serious looking boy. Listening to his new salsa CD. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, no problem. Any other question about this, people? Or other questions from the platform? No. Okay. Then uh, let's see. Let me see if I have um. I need to show you. I hear a playback teacher. You hear a playback? Yeah. Um, from here? Uh, and you? Really? Uh, probably the. Ah, uh, the, the other. Uh, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Probably the other person. No, the ventilator, maybe. Ah, okay. Because I don't have anybody here. <laughs> I am alone. Okay, just that. No, but I need to. Let me see where is the, I want to show you the, well, to share with you, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you the describing people maybe here. We can find, no, this is another one. Let me 
it's not here. Well, if I, if I get it, people appearance, no, it's not any of them. Okay, I'll see if I can find it later. Now we have, hey, hello, Adeline. Hello. Maybe. Okay. Okay, okay. Good. Well, we're going to see there. The number one here we have the next unit. Unit number five. And the unit number five. Okay, here we go. Last class. Remember that we were practicing with already and yet, right? What was the meaning of already? What is already? Do you remember? Okay, I play it back so that you can refresh, so that you can refresh your memory, okay? Now just let me share the sound with you guys, and here we go. Perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. 
Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Unknown. Someone has eaten. We haven't seen her today. It has rained a lot this year, many times. Have or has, and before the main verb. Okay, so there you have already and example usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Okay, and then when you are going to. So we have already had our breakfast. When are someone have or has and before the main it in my lesson we will study present called in between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. Ask and answer questions <laughs> in present and perfect. I only moved already in the mouse. yet. We Example She has worked in this year. Sorry. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in Something is happening here. There is something magnetic going on. I am not touching this. Where is moving? Okay. But what I want you to see is all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. <clears throat> Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end. So when we say yet, it's because we expect that this one is finished. Okay, if it is affirmative. Okay, and when it's negative, the expectation is that this is not done yet. For example, I haven't finished my coffee yet. So then I haven't finished, I mean that the coffee is still in the cup. I haven't finished, uh, we haven't finished this course yet. Okay, because the course will finish in three days okay so we haven't finished this course yet a uh, 2020 has not finished yet okay we still have like what how many days like 16 more days right 16 more days to finish right we have already okay we have already gone through 11 months January, January to uh, November. They are already gone. Ya se fueron. They're already gone. But the year, the year is not gone yet. We still have like 16 more days. Okay? And then... End of a sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Look at the time. Okay, questions about yet and already? No final. Mm -hmm. Yet is when we haven't finished. Already no, is when final activity. Something is finished. Finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Now, for example, yet is not finished. Mm -hmm. And already is when something is done. It's finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done, done is also finished. Okay. For example, um, have you finished? Okay, the, have you completed all the exercises in the platform? Then, 
two answers. Affirmative, yes, I already completed the exercises. Yes, I have already completed the exercises or no, I haven't completed the exercises yet. Okay, you see, already, done, finished. Yet, not finished yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can say, uh, no, I haven't finished yet. I need, I just have to answer the final exam. Okay, so that could be. Good, what else? Another question? About it? No. Okay, let's see some exercises here. And then after we're going to practice a little bit with these questions and the verbs. And then you said, uh, complete these conversations, use the present perfect, okay, present perfect, and the verbs in brackets. Okay, the verbs here in parentheses. Okay? Okay. Then, the first question, the first uh, one is, have you sang, has you sang, or have, done. have you done? Have done. Which is, which is the correct answer? Have yes, done. have done. Have done. Okay, have you done? The third option. Have done. The third option. The verb is practice. Uh-huh, as possible. The next one, number two. Yes. How been? How been? How been? I have already been to aerobics class, to aerobics class yes. four times. Okay, three. Okay. Have you played? I played. The first. Have you played? Have you played? Have you played? Okay. Okay, four. Okay, number four. No, I. Uh, haven't half. Haven't had. Haven't half. Half. Haven't had. How many? Okay. Uh, how been? How many? Uh, okay. Uh, don't forget to turn off your your microphones. Check your microphones, please. Okay. How? How many? Have been? Have you been? How many movies have you? The second. How many have you been to this month? Yes. Okay. The next one. Uh, Six. The first. Oh no. Actually, I, I haven't seen the first. Any I yet. Seen. Okay. Any yet. How about this one? Are you to any answer? How been? Have you been? Yes. Been. The second. Eight? No. Haven't gone. Haven't gone. Oh, no, I haven't gone. Mm -hmm. Number nine? Caleb. Caleb. Have you called? Cold, cold, how cold, and the last uh, one, yes, how made I made. I've made, I've made, made. made. to say I've, 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 I've made, made. I've, I've, made. Made. I've made, I've made, I've made, that's the contraction, I've made, okay, good. So they are all correct. Okay, remember, yes, the rule is 
how you, we, you, they have in the past participle of the verb, right? And then you have the construction for the present perfect. Good. And, well, this is a combination of the present perfect and the simple past. But, um, let me check here, here we go, yes. Okay, pay attention when they have the construction for the present perfect, <clears throat> uh, have you been, and when they answer only in simple past. Okay, you have to identify the present perfect and the simple past. Pay attention. Um, here, here, here. I think it's... No problem with the sound. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. I didn't know that. Okay. Did you identify the simple present and the present perfect? Yes. Yes. Okay. And what is the relation? ¿Cuál la relación in, between the present perfect and the simple past in the conversation? We do it in Spanish, but we don't pay attention to, to that because it's, it's our language, right? And then in English is the same. I use and to pay mm -hmm. and have uh, the auxiliar have. Where? Have mm -hmm. and what? there. Where are where are they? Um, have you been? Have. Uh -huh. have you been here? Mm -hmm. perf uh, present perfect. Have you been here long? Okay, present perfect. Have you chosen a restaurant? Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten? I no, have. I haven't. Look, they are using present perfect, a present perfect, simple present. Is it good in present? It's delicious. Present perfect. 
have you ever had green curry? Is present perfect? I have. Now here, they use the simple past. I live in Thailand. Okay. Okay, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. the, different, the difference between uh, present perfect and simple past is uh, in present perfect, we have the auxiliary ha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And in simple past, we have the auxiliary uh, did. And in affirmative, we use we use the verb in past. Okay. That's the difference. Exactly, exactly mm -hmm. right? Excellent. That's the difference. Now, uh, mm -hmm. for example, for example, in present perfect, have you been here long? In simple past, uh, I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate, I ate a lot there. There are two sentences in simple past. Yes, that's correct, okay? Grammatically and the structure, okay. exactly that is the difference. Okay, very good, excellent. That's number one, okay. Thank now, the second question. Okay, <clears throat> in, in the use. Okay, the structure, that one. But when we use it, what is the difference? Okay, this is the second question. First, the structure, and second, when do we use Present perfect, and when do we use the simple past? And then you can see the look at the conversation and okay, tell the, me the um, simple past. Yes. Okay. I think the simple past is in the answer. So the question is in, per, in person perfect, but the answer is in simple past. Uh -huh, but why? Mm. Almost, almost. You have the 50% of the um, second answer. <laughs> when, okay. <laughs> I think when you use the simple past, mm, the activity, uh, the finish. Uh -huh. uh, it was finished. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. was when you use the participle, uh, the activity, no finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's in process. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't expect you to give me a, an answer, you know, like if you were a, a doc, I mean, a PhD in grammar, right? No. I mean, the, the, the idea is that you get that message. For example, when the guy says, I have a, a, the question is, have you ever had green curry? And then they say, yes, I have. That's the answer is in present perfect. Yes. But after that, the person, in this case, Mandy, wants to give more information. And when she wants to give more information, she gives that information in the past, right? Because that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. They say, for example, have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. Uh, let's say I lived in Thailand as a teenager and I ate it a lot there. Where? in Thailand. When? When she was a teenager. How much? A lot. You see all the information that she's giving in one sentence? She's giving where, when, and how much. Okay? So this is the idea, right? And, and, okay. and we speak Spanish like that. The only thing that we don't pay attention to that because it is our language. Okay? So in English, it's very similar. For example, if I ask you, um, have you ever, uh, have you ever written, no, have you ever, uh, let's see, have you ever been to a circus? Have you ever been to a circus? Circus. Circus. Yo creo que aquí, de aquí muchos no. Circus. Están muy jóvenes. <laughs> Circus. Um, have you ever been to a circus? Yeah, have you ever been to a 
Supernatus. Okay. Let's see who understands that question. Do you understand that question? Do you remember Chocolate Circus? Yeah. Who was <laughs> ah. Enrique, yes, right? Yes. Who, who was Chocolate, Enrique? Uh, repeat this. Who was Chocolate? Uh, his dad, a long time. Uh -huh, he was a clown. The, yeah, he was a clown. The, the king of the clowns. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roberto, do you remember Chocolate? <laughs> no, huh? only the Uncle Periquito and the yes. Pizza Ring. Pizza Ring, maybe you remember, right? Rojito, mm. Chirajito. And Chirajito. <laughs> yes, okay. Then, uh, Popeye. Oh, yes. Uh, Freddy, do you remember, uh, do you remember Chocolate? No, teacher. No. I really don't remember. Okay. Then, uh, yes, because that's the intention, right? Chocolate was a very famous, popular, let's say popular uh, clown in El Salvador. Okay. And he had, he had his own uh, a circus, right? And for the people in those days, he was, you know, one of the best, you know, uh, clowns. And actually he was very funny. He was very funny. Uh, sometimes his show was for adults, right? You know, because of the the level of jokes, for el nivel de, de chistes, right? That he had sometimes, it was for adult people, but it was good. Okay, so then, have you ever been to a chocolate circus? And then you say, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I never. Uh, I never met him, or I never saw. Uh, show in his circus. Okay, in my case, I can say no, yes, sure. yes, I have. Okay, so have you ever been to a chocolate circus? Yes, I have. Actually, I went to many of his shows when I was a teenager. See, I started using the information, right? Actually, I went, now use the past tense, I went to many of his shows when I was a teenager. Okay, so then this is the moment where when you introduce the simple past and you mix it with the present perfect. Okay, when you use the question, have you ever? Okay, for example, the, uh, let me see, I will show you, I hope I have this. Just let me close the I don't want to show. Then use questions, for example, using have you ever? What are some questions that we can use? Uh, using have you ever? Uh, have you ever? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I'll show you. I will show you some. Mm -hmm. No, this is not the one. Oh, this is the one. Okay. Did you see this one? Here it says, have you ever been on TV? Have you ever been on TV? And then I say, yes, I have. I have been on TV three times. Oh, no, I have never been on TV. Right? 
uh, have you ever driven or ridden in a sports car? Say yes, I have. I have driven a sports car many times. Actually, I bought a Ferrari three months ago. I bought a Ferrari three months ago. You see? Uh, and then, or you can say, no, I have never ridden or driven a sports car. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Roberto, can you read the question, the next question? And uh, Carol, you answer the question. Robert, you read, Carol, you answer. Carol, have you ever eaten anything really strange? Um, I, I, yes, I, mm, what is this saying? Strange. Ah, uh -huh, weird, strange, rare, strange. rare. Extraño. Ah, uh -huh, rare, raro. Ah, es que ya comido algo extraño. How you ever eaten? Anything really strange? Uh, no, I, I know, I know, I know eating. No. No, I never. Uh huh. I never eh. solo sustituía, ¿eh? no I have never es, solo es, solo es, no I have never uh, eaten no no I have never eaten anything any, strange strange uh, yeah, strange, strange. Huh? Okay. okay that's it Okay. okay, how about you, Suli? Have you ever eaten anything strange? Like a snake. Some popos. Some popos, chapulines. Armadillo. Huh? Armadillo, armadillo. Suli, have you ever eaten anything strange? Mm, yes. Um, and this I a snack. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I have a snack. A snack. A snake. Serpientes. A snake. Yes. A snake. Hello. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. And then you say I. Keep. Yeah, you can use the past tense. I ate a snake. When? When, Suli? No, 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 no. No, Kusuku. Yeah, I have Kusuku, pero when? But for the, the niña. Okay, all right. When? When I was a little girl. A little girl. Okay. Yesterday. Not yesterday. <laughs> okay, not yesterday. Okay, yes, then yes I have, okay, good. Perfect, then uh, let's see uh, who else uh, do we have here. Flora, ask the next question. Okay. To, let me see who the wells do we have here? Carol, Marilyn, Norma, and 
Who else is now here? David. Ask a question to David. Yo, yo la hago. Yes. And David will answer. David, have you ever fall, ¿cómo se dice? Fallen. Fallen, fallen down stairs. Okay. David, have you ever fallen down stairs? David. Se ha caído. Es, yes, se ha caído. Probably. Yes, David, se ha caído. Maybe. Maybe he has fallen downstairs. That's why he doesn't answer. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, if you have fallen downstairs. Okay, anybody. Robert, have you ever fallen downstairs? No. Rolling down the stairs. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, what is stairs? Gradas. 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 Uh -huh. Have you ever fallen down stairs? Uh -huh. No, no logro, no sé, no logro entender la pregunta. Que si alguna vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. caído de alguna vez. Ah, me he caído. Uh -huh. Yes. De las. Uh, um, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. I have. I have. Okay. Uh, yes. Then you can say yes. I have, and I then have. here, and here you can use the past perfect, the, the, the simple present. I fell. I fell downstairs. Downstairs. Cuando? Um, from from the hospital. Okay, I fell down the stairs at the hospital. At the hospital. Uh huh. En el hospital. Sí. Y se quedó ahí. Fui de, fui, fui de visita cuando, uh -huh. cuando, estaba, cuando estaba peque y, y, y me dieron siete puntadas. Oh, my God. Well, luckily you were in the hospital, right? Well, no I have... Pasó ahí. Yes. I fell down the stairs <laughs> when... When I went to visit... To visit. To visit someone... Alguien, ¿verdad? Right? Someone at the hospital. Ok. And, vamos a poner toda la historia. And they gave me, and they gave me, how many? Seven. Seven. Seven stitches. Seven stitches. 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 Siete puntadas. Seven stitches. Yeah. Okay? Good. That's a story. Okay? Now you can say, hey, have you ever fallen down the stairs? Oh, yes, I have. You know, I fell down the stairs once when I went to uh, visit someone at the hospital, and then they gave me seven stitches in my forehead. Right? Gave me. Uh -huh. yes. Gave me. Me dieron, man. Seven. Gave me. Yes. Okay. So you see here, you are using the past tense. Okay, simple past. Then you are also giving more information, right? Because sometimes this, the present perfect is very general. And then it doesn't give you enough information. Good. Uh, Enrique, read the next question. And Joel, you answer the question. Okay. How do you ever... Forgotten an important birthday? Oh my God. Have you ever for no 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 this one? Oh, oh, this one. This oh one. sorry, sorry. Yes. How do you ever fallen how do you ever fallen oh. asleep and when you work woke up you didn't know where you were? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, okay. You see, in that case, it's only no, I haven't. No, okay. I haven't. If it is affirmative, then you'd give more information. But in negative, say no, I haven't. Or yeah. well, then you can, in, in affirmative, yes, you can say <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, one time I was very tired, 
Uh, I went with some friends to a party in Cojutepeque and we didn't have a car. And then uh, we took a coaster at six o'clock in the morning to come back to San Salvador. And then when I woke up in San Salvador, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> okay, so then this is, in that moment, yes, you had to give more information and you had to give the anecdote, okay, in simple past. But when the answer is negative, no, I haven't. No problem. Okay, good. Then, uh, Noel, can you ask a question to Marilyn? The next question. Vean todos los verbos que están en past, en past participle, okay? Sorry, sorry. Uh, we have here uh, been, driven, ridden, uh, eaten, uh, fallen, fallen asleep, forgotten. Okay, this is the next one. Okay, good. Noel to Marilyn. This question. Okay, Noel must be busy. Noel, I guess, because last time he told me. Okay. Then uh, if you can after Noel, no problem. You can participate. I understand your situation. Now, Marilyn, can you please ask the question to Carol? Oh, no, to Norma. <clears throat> okay, Norma. Have you ever forgotten an important birthday? Be honest, Norma. <laughs> An important birthday. No, I have. <laughs> your husbands, your brothers, your mothers, your brothers' birthday, never forgot? No. Okay. Good memory. <laughs> Privilege. She has a they, good memory. <laughs> yes, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. In this case, no, I haven't. Who has forgotten uh, an important birthday? Who has forgotten an important, well, not only birth date, but also a, an important date? Una fecha importante. Who has forgotten an important date? Como un simple sencillo aniversario bodas or something like that. I don't know. Wedding anniversary that you, <laughs> that you forgot. A teacher. I never forget. <laughs> never. Okay, good, Norma. Very good. The Mother's Day teacher is Ma for me. <laughs> oh, yes. No, Mother's yes. Day. Mother's Day, yes. You never forget that. Impossible to forget. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then you have Father's Day, um, Christmas. No. Okay, good. Arely. Siempre la recuerdo toda fecha. Nunca se me ha olvidado ni una. Ni una, ni una. Okay. No. All right. Any, any. Okay. Very good. Then let me see. Okay, this one. And Harley, ask this question to Robert. Oh, no, 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 okay. because ya le preguntamos de la caída. No. Well, another accident, no. <laughs> then ask this question to Flora. Have you ever worked at into something when you were testing? This is very typical. It's very common nowadays. Have you ever have you ever walked into something when you are texting? Now you are with your cell phone. And then all of a sudden against the wall. Yes. Against the wall. Con un sillón, right? Or with the bed. Or, I don't know. Yes, Flora? Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Okay. Ex explain. Yes, I have. I walked into what? Into the wall. Yes. Uh -huh. Chocar con la pared, right? Or into into somebody. 
Para con alguien, too, right? Somebody. Somebody. Into a, a post. Ahí encontró un postecito, right? Post. With, with a car. Okay. Into a car. Okay. Walk into a car. Yes. Okay. So these are, you know, possibilities, right? Good. Thank you. Okay. The next one. Uh, uh, let me see. Norma asked the next question to Robert. Okay. Have you ever dialed? Dialed? Dial your country emergency number. Okay. Have you ever um, dialed? Have you ever dialed your country's emergency number? Um, yes, I have um, dial, dial uh, emergency number. Okay. And, and I call to, to Cruz Roja. The Red um, Cross, the Red Cross. Red, Red Cross mm -hmm. for, a, for, for, Solicitar para to, pedir. To ask. To, to ask. To ask. Um, um, to ask. Um, An ambulance. Help. To ask for help. Mm -hmm. To ask for yes. help. Okay. Very oh. good. I call the Red Cross to ask for help. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. I call the Red Cross to ask for help. Very good, Robert. Thank you. Okay. Right. And Joel has the next question to. Enrique, hey, this one, this question. Read, uh, read teacher. Uh, Joel reads a question. Enrique, okay. you answer the question. Have you ever, I, I can see. Okay. Have you ever? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's a little bit. Now? Ah, okay. Have you ever given a public speech? A public speak, speak, speech. A speech. speech? Uh -huh. Have speech. you ever given? Okay. Have you ever given a public speech? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I I have a uh, public speech in sometimes. Okay. Yes, I have given. A public speech sometimes very good okay this is you know um, discurso publico right have you ever given a public speech yes i have given a public speech sometimes okay and who's missing carol carol ask the next question to suli okay suli have you ever valid built? Uh, built. What? Built. built. Uh -huh. Have you ever built a snow one? A snowman. Okay. I never, I never understand the question. Come on, <laughs> Suli. It's a frosty, frosty the snowman. Well, you don't know Frosty. Frosty. Uh -huh. Yes, el muñeco de nieve. Uh -huh. Frosty snowman. <laughs> Frosty the snowman. <laughs> okay, so then say Frosty snowman. Okay, have you ever built? Have you ever built a, a snowman? No. Have you constructed with your hands a snowman? I know, I know, I know. No, no, I can. I, I have, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. But it's snowman. Frosty, Frosty is the snowman. Frosty. You don't know Frosty? I don't know. Come on, really. Uh, you, were, you, 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 you were not oh, you were, okay, 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 okay. You were not a little girl. <laughs> yes. Frosty, and you're not a carrot, even a zanahoria mm -hmm. here, right? Mm -hmm. 
Dang, no, I haven't yet. Podría no, ser. No, I haven't yet. Yes. Uh -huh. I yet. haven't Or yet. you can also say, no, not yet. No. Not yet. No. Yet. Not yet. Okay. okay. En vez del haven't. No, not yet. No, not yet. No, todavía no. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, uh, mañana creo que va a nevar, because today was raining. Okay, so then in El Salvador, everything is possible. Right? Yeah, today is raining. Yes, it's raining. It's raining here. And tomorrow is going to be snowing. And then, <laughs> and, and on Friday, we can go to the beach because it's going to be very sunny. So one, uh -huh. one, season, one season every day. Okay, good. So then, uh, then no, not yet. And then any questions? No, no more questions. Okay. Do you have any questions? Teacher, you put this page in the, um, in the chat. Group. Yes, 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 I will. Okay. Yes, I will. I just convert it into, into PDF to work for the format, right? Because I lo desordene. Okay, I will check it again and then I will put it back. Okay? No okay. problem. Okie dokie. Okay. So then you see these are questions that you only have to use. Have you ever? And then you can practice all the verbs. And remember that we use the simple past when we are going to give extra information, right? When we want to give like more details. Because the present perfect is very general. If you say, uh, have, you ever, uh, have you ever been to the zoo? Oh, yes, I have. I've been there many times. But in aunque diga muchas veces, I've been there many times, the information is still general, okay? Mm -hmm. But when you say, uh, have you ever been to the zoo? Oh, yes, I've been there many times. Uh, as a matter of fact, actually, I was, uh, the last time I was at the zoo, I'm using the past tense, it was uh, last weekend, and it was in Guatemala, and it was very nice. I enjoy it, I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, it's very far, but uh, it's a very nice uh, yeah, zoo. Okay, so then when you use this verb, then you start giving more information with more details, okay? Because you describe an action that finished and happened in the past, okay? So then the, this is the combination of the present perfect and the simple past. Okay. Good, uh, any other question about the the topic? No. Okay, good. Then, uh, let me see. Well, that's it for today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then tomorrow we will continue. My goodness, it's, not, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, so tomorrow we will continue. And let me just, let me see. We are, um, I'll just show you this. And Okay, we have just like one, two, three more topics. Just one and I think that on Wednesday we will finish and then we will check the, the homework. And then on Thursday we can have oral practice a lot. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Take I will care. see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks to you. Okay, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. See ya. See ya.